Hey, we're live with James speaking, TradingSites.io. Uh, last week, Claude came out with Claude Skills. I did a couple of videos on it because it is wicked cool if you're a course creator, if you're a teacher, anyone in the education space who finds themselves doing particular tasks and or work that needs to be done on a repetitive basis that you need someone to basically go do it and be able to report back to you or do the work but you knowing that if you ask the work to be done, it's going to be done the way that you like it, in the tone, temper, pitch, everything that is authentic to you. You want to know that this is a real employee that you can train once and have it go and do all of the work. Now, a lot of people struggle with this, especially now, the end of 2025. Um, you know, we've been learning how to do prompts and complex prompts. We may even have some go-to prompts that we've used on a regular basis. And we're watching YouTube videos. We're trying to keep up with all of these AI tools. And then now, you know, if you're on YouTube, for example, you'll see all sorts of stuff about AI automations, vibe coding, and all of these really technical things that, yes, you can learn, but it takes a lot of effort. And a lot of people don't want to be technical. They just want to know, how can I get what I need done with the least amount of effort from myself, but with the best result? that I could possibly want by leveraging AI. And that is exactly where Claude skills fit in because Claude skills allow us now not only to create a skill, but a complete library of skills that will do just like a digital assistant who is perfectly trained. We can call on them at any time to get whatever amount of work done that we need done in a task or tasks. Now, you're probably going, okay, James, I saw that in the video, I get it, what's so special now? Well, the part that got really interesting was, not only can we create a library, and I believe at the time of recording, I think you're limited to 20 skills, you can bundle these skills, and Claude just announced they have memory. Now you're going, why is memory important? Why should I bother with it? What's so cool about memory with Claude? Well, if you think about it now, you now uh, have, uh, a digital assistant that follows your instructions, that is able to do the work perfectly the way that you want each and every time. And remember, a Claude skill is not limited to a prompt or following a prompt and some context. These can have scripts in them. They can run software. They have access to other external tools. This is a real digital assistant that isn't limited but can learn how to do tasks or get a task done based on the material in the skill that they've been given. But if you have a library of those, you know, you can call on them. But what happened with memory now is that these skills not only have access to the other skill that they're working with in a single chat or in a project, they have memory of you and your conversations with Claude. So that means that previous chats that you've had, previous question and answers, previous work that you've done with Claude, if you require or request a skill to work now on you, your business, your cloud install, your reference materials, your um, uh, way of doing things, standard operating procedures, the way that you like, that's personal to you, it is now available. So it's not just AI going to do a task for us. We have someone who truly understands and gets us because there is memory. And each and every time, that it performs a task, it's adding or self-learning or improving itself based on the discussions that it's actually had with us its past and based on how it's actually completed tasks it requested and the work that we've done fixing the responses that they get. So having a library of skills is a gold mine. Now, including memory is even gonna make it more important. So the question becomes, what kind of skills or skills library should I kind of think of? What I did personally is I kind of went together and put together, uh, you know, six high value areas of skills. I'll show them to you briefly, just the ones that, you know, just to make your head uh, kind of think about, you know, what can I do or what are some of the things I should have in my library? Uh, and remember, you can just be having a chat and it's like you ask your course architect skill, for example, to come up because you have to go and create a course. Maybe it's one about to go and edit a course. You just request that skill and say, hey, go and fix up my course that's here on my particular drive, or here I have a unique set of checklists that I use to go over a course. 
it will actually go and do it because you called that one skill. If you're doing things, for example, like doing any of the repurposing or creating media, whether those be PowerPoint slides or any uh, you know additional material, PDFs, blogs, repurposing all of that content, even community engagement. I've spent a lot of time talking to people about building a training site, so their own privately branded campus, and a big part of education now is community. And being able to have someone who helps you or a digital assistant that works in your community with you huge opportunity to go through and having a set of skills there as well. Um, you know, weekly challenges, discussion prompts, uh, polls and feedback, onboarding skills, gamification, even things like marketing and automation. You know, uh, some people, um, you know, are in the course business. There's more to creating a course, trying to sell it as a social media post, sales pages, email marketing, lead pages, joint ventures, affiliate programs. All sorts of marketing things that are tasks that have to be done, but now we have a skill pack or pack group of skills that would allow us to do all of our marketing. Um, you know, just AI tools and automation skills, monetization and productization, huge opportunities. These are ones that I just put together, and again, I'll make them available to you. But that package or library that you can create is yours alone, and memory now makes it even. Um, more personalized to the way that you want to teach. Like I'm trying really hard to create these because when you have digital assistants like this, it gives me more time to do live classes and live sessions, which is the part that I like doing and having fun. And even things like doing these YouTube videos, which I highly suggest to anyone who's in the education space. I've been saying, uh, you know, my goal is to do as many videos as I can as quickly as possible. The reason I do that is the transcripts and making the transcripts available to be converted into additional content uh, or tools that people can use and learn from, huge value in there, but it takes work and effort. So having that skill or package of skills to basically just say, hey, I did a brand new video. What I want you to do is use my skill pack for doing this and it all gets done in the background. And these are things you can just let go and work. Look give the instructions once, have them do the work, have it come back and look at it, and you're away to the races in terms of the amount of time, energy, and effort that you've uh, saved now by getting really great work done the way that you like to do it that sounds like you. So hopefully you enjoy this. My name's James. It's trainingsites.io forward slash join. Like and subscribe. I do these videos every day. They're all about starting, building, and growing your education business. Take care and expect the best.